This is Series 1, Episode 93. Today is the 21st of November 2021, and this is my weekend stock market update. I'll start the video talking about the general market conditions, then I'm going to talk about some individual stocks, including stocks I've bought this week, and then I'm going to focus on the uranium market, show you what I'm seeing there, because as, as you could probably see, if you're involved in uranium, there's been a bit of a sell-off. So I want to show you what I'm seeing there. Of course, as I do in every video, here's my disclaimer. Everything I talk about in this video is for informational purposes only. If you decide to take action upon that information, that is your decision. You are responsible for all of your trading decisions. Let me start with the Nasdaq then, guys. Uh, as you can see, we're still bullish. There's no reason to be bearish at all at the moment. But this is looking extremely concerning to me in that there's just been no real retracement we had this bit of a pullback here but i want to see a bigger pullback doesn't mean it's going to happen but I'm now i'm really nervous about buying any new positions on technology stocks that's just my personal opinion so i, I want to see a pullback now on the nasdaq if i show you the dow jones look what's happening on the dow jones it's almost like there's rotation of stocks again this gets confusing i like to see all the indices following suit one each each of the three indices all in the same direction this is the, the Dow and you can see it's selling off but if you look here along let me just draw a line in there there's potentially this could stop the uh, Dow from falling lower because of that previous resistance might act as support on the way back down I don't know guys I'm just showing you what I'm seeing so Nasdaq's very bullish Dow is looking a bit weak and the S&P 500 is starting to show signs of weakness as well. So I'm a little bit nervous about taking any major positions at the moment. But tomorrow I will be releasing, or maybe even later today, releasing a, a separate video about a stock. Because I think that's a really nice looking stock. But generally I'm a little bit nervous about taking any positions, new positions. Because we've had such a bullish move. So that's just my opinion. I want to see all the markets in moving in the same direction as I said. But the, the Nasdaq's bullish, very, very strong. The Dow is, you know, like I said, it might hold here. And S&P is starting to show early signs of weakness. So that's my view on the market. Still bullish. There's absolutely no reason to be bearish yet. We might get a pullback. I've been saying that for a few weeks now. We haven't had it yet. But I definitely would expect it sooner or later. Now I'm going to start talking about some stocks. Stocks I've taken, stocks I've closed, and stocks to watch. So let me start that now for you. Alibaba. I know at least one person that took this trade with me, uh, Chris. Chris Fish, I believe you, you're watching this video. Well, I hope you are. You, I believe you're in this stock with me. Uh, I, I'm not worried about this, guys. Uh, if we go down to the daily chart, Alibaba's had a bit of a torrid time this week. Big sell-off because the earnings was negative. But this just feels like another opportunity to buy more of the stock. I'm not going to buy anything yet, any additional. I'm just going to keep my current position but i will be watching uh, alibaba for another potential you know to add to my position so you can dollar cost average as it drops because i just think this is a superb company and these earnings reports are just short-term noise just 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 my opinion like i say but i want to add to alibaba at some point not going to yet i want to see what happens so chris if you're watching this um unfortunately you're feeling some pain uh, like me but um Let's see what happens. I think Alibaba is a lovely stock, so I'm just holding it. And that is why you need to use money management rules with every trade you ever take. Right, next one, Lee Auto. Talked about this a number of times. Talked about this level, $30 and this trend line. I said I wanted to see a break of the trend line, and we got the break. Now, I was making it really obvious to you guys last week about the $30 level. And I actually put on the comment section that I bought the stock. So I bought this stock as it broke out. So I bought it. Uh, it rallied here. And I thought, yep, doing really well, really well. I was expecting it to try and break out. And then it started coming back down. So I actually took a small profit on this one. It made 10% in one day. I don't know if anyone else took this trade. Lee Auto, that was correct. It did break out. 10% in one day. Very nice trade. But me personally, I got out around here. So I made a small profit, but not a big one. So I'm not in Lee Auto at the moment. And to add some more information to Lee Auto, they've changed the earnings date yet again. 
and I now understand that the earnings date for Lee Auto is the 29th of November. So, you guys, it's up to you if you wanted to get in on this trade before the earnings report on the 29th. Like I said, I took this, I'm out at the moment, I might look at getting back in on Lee Auto. Entirely up to you what you want to do. Next one is another Chinese EV, Is I've already talked about this one as well. XPeng, ticker symbol XPEV. I said I want to buy this at $45. Well, earnings is due on the 23rd of November. So, I said tile up to you guys. If you see it at 45, do you want to take it? I've explained all the analysis on this one. You look at my previous videos. I'm not going to go over it again. I like it at 45. I don't know if I'm going to take it now because it's so close to earnings. I'm really not sure. Uh, and tile up to you if you want to take it. Earnings is out on the 23rd. $45 looks like a nice area. But earnings can do one of two things. Up or down. <laughs> so, just be careful with that one. Next one is a old stock that I've owned for a number of months now. I've talked about it in previous episodes. Blink Charging. Uh, this had a huge rally and I just want to let anyone know that who's been watching my previous videos that I'm now out of this trade. I took a, the position out at $45. So it went a little bit higher but I didn't want to take my money. I didn't want to lose my money. I like that it was such a strong move so I'm out of Blink Charging. I closed it at $45. Just over $45. So I just want to inform those people that might might be in that trade. Next stock, uh, ticker symbol FCX, uh, Freeport, McMurrin. This is a copper play, guys, uh, copper and gold. And so if I, I'm in this stock, I put it on the comment section. I said it was a buy at $38.50. It went slightly lower than that. So I'm in this stock. I believe it's a lovely uh, trade, but it's definitely more longer term. There could be some volatility on this short term. So uh, my personal opinion is to, just to hold this for the longer term. But you must remember your own money management rules if you are following these trades. It's up to you. And a stop loss could be placed at 35. I've discussed all this before in the video that's dedicated to, to this particular stock. If you want to know what video that was, that was at episode 92. So basically the previous video to this one. So yep, I'm in that, in that stock, guys. I like it. Uh, it's a confirmed breakout, so... That it just, I've just got to practice what I preach. If I'm telling you guys what I'm going to do, I want to show you that I'm not just pulling, you know, pulling the wool over your eyes. The final stock, for now, that I'm going to talk about, is a company called Figs. So the ticker symbol is the same as the name of the company, F I G S. So Figs, if you don't know about Figs, they sell hospital scrubs. Now, I thought, what a ridiculous thing to be selling, but the, 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 the market is huge for this. And this company is the leader of these uh, hospital scrubs. So I think this is more of an American thing, because I don't think it applies in the UK where you buy your own uniforms. But, uh, yeah, have a look at their website, guys, Figs. Now, the reason I like this one, it's a recent IPO, as you can see, is it's actually a really strong performing company. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Get this company on your watch list. Figs. The earnings just came out and it beat all of Wall Street's estimates. Significantly beat, crushed the earnings report. But it got sold off. But this company's got gross margins of over 72%. That's higher than Nike. They're crushing earnings. They've got huge gross margins. They're the, 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 the number one supplier of, of these uh, hospital scrubs. Guys, you really, I can't, like I said, I can't stress it enough. This really is a nice looking stock. I can't see an entry yet, but I'm going to just delve, delve a little bit deeper just to show you what I'm seeing. So this is the IPO area here. Let me draw a horizontal line at that around there so I, I was watching this guys at $35 round number I wanted to probably buy this at $35 I was convinced of buying this at $35 actually I didn't and I'm glad I didn't because it's continuously dropped it's now $32 as I do this video at the weekend let me go down to the daily chart so that $35 level for me was critical uh, I'll just remove that now but um, I wanted to see what happened at $35 continue to continue it continues to drop. There is no buying opportunity at the moment. I can't see it. But I'm trying to get this on your radar ahead of time because if you wanted to, you could take this now and, and 
hold it for the longer term. But I'm going to try and get us in. Well, sorry, I shouldn't say that. I will try and get in on this trade as soon as I see a nice setup because I believe this is a really strong stock. It's, there's no reason that I can fathom why this was sold off because the earnings is really strong and the gross margins are really strong. So figs, ticker symbol FIGS. Get it on your radar, guys. Get it on your watch list because it is a very strong company and it will probably do quite well in the future. Now, I, I said I'd talk about uranium. Some people watching these videos will think, why is he talking about uranium? Well, uranium is one of the strongest sectors at the moment. I know quite a few people involved in uranium and I also uh, was, was looking at this. So let me just go to the uranium ETF, Exchange Traded Fund, Global X Uranium because this will show you the kind of overview of what's happening with the market so I see this guy we could probably expect to see price come down here because of this previous low so I just think people need to be cautious with uranium it's a cyclical thing it's it could really take a nosedive there's a lot of people assuming it's going to go up now uh, I, I just think you'd want to be a bit careful not over leverage yourselves just see what it does at this this ETF what keep you on this ETF URA because that will give you an overview of what's happening with uranium globally but you can see let me just draw in some stuff here so we made a high there came down made a high retested that high then went sideways for a while, came down, then it rallied. It looks really bullish, guys, it really did. But you can see it's just completely getting sold off this ETF. And it looks like it's going to try and test this previous support here. So I think if you're in, U in uranium, you should be paying close attention to this exchange traded fund to see what it's doing. Because if, if you start seeing bullish behavior at this maybe $25, I don't know, guys, I really don't, but you might want to start looking at adding your positions i don't know this is one of those kind of gambles with uranium now i talked about it what the stock i talked about was u u u u and that went up 100 percent i'm I'm not in any uranium stocks now but i know lots of people are so i just want to point point that out to you that keep your eye on that etf guys because that will give you a clue as to what the market's doing next because that's tracking the uranium companies Okay, I think that's enough for today. Uh, I will do another video later on a, on a really nice looking stock that I see, a separate video. But if you like what I'm doing, uh, what I'm doing, please like and subscribe with the usual stuff that I say. Hit that like button, it's really important. Speak to you tomorrow or later today.